Father, we pray today and we say thank you for access. Thank you, oh God, in those places where the enemy had tried to hinder us. Thank you for access to our joy. Thank you for access to our comfort. Thank you for access to our peace. Father, we decree and declare your word today, which says that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father, we want to say thank you, oh God because we are here today we can truly stand on that promise that there was no weapon hallelujah that was formed against us that shall prosper father we thank you for you have made us overcomers we thank you for you have made us triumphant God you have made us triumphant over sickness you've made us triumphant over lack you've made us triumphant over poverty you've made us triumphant over broken household father we want to say thank you oh God father Father, we want to say thank you with this new year, Lord, that we shall walk in newness of life. We shall walk in the newness of promise. Father, we want to say thank you because your word cannot lie. Your word says that greater will be the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Father, we want to say thank you because the ending shall be great. Father, we want to say thank you because our end hallelujah shall be better than how things started out in our life father i pray right now over your people father that we would walk in faith god and not by the things we see father in this season lord we know that the enemy is not going to stop your word tells us that he comes to kill steal and destroy but father your word encourages us and tells us that you have come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly so father we want to say thank you for abundant life today God that no matter how the storm looks that no matter how hard the waves seem to crash in our life father we want to say thank you for abundant life we shall look to the hills from which cometh our help our help cometh from the Lord father we want to say thank you for we decree and declare that our help is coming from the alpha and the omega our help is coming from the beginning and the end our help is coming from Jehovah Rapha our help is coming from Jehovah Sikhanu father we want to say thank you for being our help hallelujah thank you through every doctor's report every negative report you have been our help father for every pink slip you've been our help father we want to say thank you and we're reminded of the song that says through every valley low God you have helped us through every mountain top you've helped us over father we want to say thank you thank you because you are Emmanuel father we want to say thank you because we can live to see tomorrow because our Emmanuel is with us father we want to say thank you Thank you, Lord God, for being our El Shaddai. Father, you are more than enough. Father, we come to you in need of prayer. God, Father, here it is. It is we, your people, God, and we decree and declare you to be El Shaddai. We decree and declare you to be more than enough in our life. Father, we lift up your people today who are in search of love, who are in search of relationship, who are in search of joy, who are in search Church of happiness God father we decree the word over them your word says that where the presence of the Lord is there is fullness of joy father we pray your fullness to be on the lives of your people like never before father we are almost at the end of the first month of this year father we pray God that as we walk out this year we will walk out with fullness oh God we will walk out fullness of promise fullness of destiny fullness of joy joy, fullness of love, fullness of peace, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, your word says, hallelujah, that you would keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you. Father, we decree and declare on this day, God, we will not allow the enemy to steal our peace, God. But Father, we bind up the strong man right now in the name of Jesus that was sent to bring doubt, that was sent to bring confusion 
in the name of Jesus and we declare our peace. Father, your word says that we shall hold our peace and you shall fight our battles for us. Our peace shall remain. Our joy shall remain. Our comfort shall remain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your word says that you have given us power over every evil work of the enemy. Your word says that nothing by any means shall harm us. Father, we want to say thank you, Jesus, that your people, oh God, shall walk in fullness, shall walk in healing, shall walk in joy, shall walk in love. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for the blood of your son. We thank you for the blood of your son. We thank you for the blood of your son. And we plead the blood of Jesus over our homes. We plead the blood of Jesus over our ministries. We plead the blood of Jesus over our health. Father, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over our emotions now, God. We come against the spirit of fear. We come against the spirit of anger. We come against anything, oh God, that would hinder us from pressing forward in the name of Jesus. But we shall press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Father, we want to say thank you that in this season, God, we shall move forward, that no weapon is going to hinder us, no hurdle is going to hinder us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we ask for you to have your way in this place, God. Father, we ask for you to have your way, God. Yes, God. We ask for you to have your way. Father, we invite you in this place. We invite you in this place, Father. And we ask that you would breathe upon us, God. We ask that you would breathe upon us, oh God. Fresh anointing, fresh power, fresh fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. And we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's praise his name. Hallelujah. Lord, I just want to thank you. 
Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands and give God glory. Come on, lift your hands, give Him glory. Mm. Come on, lift your voice and let's bless the name of Jesus and hear God. You're God. You're amazing. God, you're wonderful. Come on, lift your voices in here and let's give God praise in the house. God, we thank you. We magnify you. We praise you. Come on, lift them hands in here. Let's begin to give him praise. Come on, let's glorify him. Come on, let's magnify him. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That, come on, that's it. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. Come on, let's, let's bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is the highest praise. Come on, let's get in his presence. Let's thank him. Let's honor him. Let's come on, let's glorify him. Come on, let's glorify our king. Let's glorify our Lord. He is. Come on, lift them voices in here. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Don't let the music dictate your praise. When that music drops, your praise arise. Come on, lift your voices in here. That's it, that's it, that's it. Come on, let's magnify him. That's, come on, that's it. Let's get in his presence. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. That's it, come on. We bow down before you, Lord. We bless you. We honor you. Come on, lift your voices in here. That's it, it sounds good to him. God, you're so amazing. God, you are everything. You are our Lord. You are our Savior. Come on. Come on, lift them hands and let's bless the name of Jesus. Come on, let's bless the name of Jesus. That's it, come on, let's bless the name of Jesus. Let's bless his holy name. Come on, get them hands up, y'all. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. God, we magnify you. God, we thank you. God, we bless you. Now, come on, put them hands together in here. Let's... Let's give our God some praise. Yeah, come on, put them hands together. Let's give our God some praise. Uh, he's so amazing. I don't know what you come to do today, but I come to lift up the name of Jesus today. I said, how many of you came to lift up the name of Jesus today? How many of you came to lift up the name of Jesus today? God, we thank you. God, we worship you. Father, I thank you today for your loving kindness. It's now, God, we ask that all flesh would decrease in the house. I ask you now, Lord, if there's anything we've done, said, thought that was not pleasing in your sight, I pray, Lord, that you would forgive us now. My prayer, God, is that you would use us in spite of us and send the anointing that makes preaching easy. Send the anointing that saves. Send the anointing that delivers, God. Send the anointing that destroys yokes today Lord and Lord we know whatever the problem is it is your word that have the answer and God if we can't thank you for nothing else God we thank you for your word I need every believer here to lift up your hands and say God I thank you for your word I said come on lift your hands in here and say God I thank you for your word now, while you have them hands lifted, I need you to open up your mouth in here and shout hallelujah. I said, come on, open up your mouth in here and shout hallelujah. Ah, I feel the presence of the Lord. I feel the presence of the Lord in the building today. Such an atmosphere of worship in the house today. Such an atmosphere of worship in the house today. How many people can feel the spirit of the Lord in this place? I said, how many can feel the spirit of the Lord? I know we got on mass, but we can we can talk a little loud now. I said, how many people feel the presence of the Lord? I feel the presence of the Lord in this house. Uh, truly, the atmosphere has been set. 
and the anointing of God is in this place. Amen. The anointing of God is here. And we just honor the Lord today and just thank him for another opportunity to be able to stand before you and declare his word. In Jesus' name, I just thank God for his word um, today. How many of you thank God for his word? His word. His word. Today, I don't know how much um, um, preaching we're going to do, but I just want to share a couple of points um, with you today and what the Lord has been dealing with us in. And uh, today, we're going to go to the book of Deuteronomy, the 12th chapter. Uh, Deuteronomy, the 12th chapter. And when you have it, you can respond by saying, uh, Amen. Deuteronomy, the 12th chapter. And um, I'm going to read um, two verses today, Deuteronomy, the 12th chapter. I'm going to read two verses today. We're going to read um, the 9th and the 10th verse. The 9th and the 10th verse, Deuteronomy, the 12th chapter. Nine says, "For ye are not, for ye are not, as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God giveth you. But when ye go over Jordan and dwell in the land which the Lord your God giveth you to inherit, and when He giveth you." rest from all your enemies round about so that ye dwell in safety so that the Lord give you rest from all your enemies if I can use for thought I tell you look at a neighbor and say neighbor we're days away we're days look at look Look, look at a neighbor and say, we're days away, days away, days, days away. You may have your seats. I'll make some sense out of this in a minute. Days away. Um, the Bible says in Matthew, the ninth chapter, in the 37th verse, he says, Then he saith unto his disciples that the harvest is plenteous, but the labor of the few. God has so much in store for us, but we have to be willing to put in the work. Everybody, we pray and we have our prayers and we're praying for God to move on our behalf. And we're asking God to move and do things for us. But um, we have to work while we're praying. The, the old church used to say that if you put your time in, payday is coming after a while. If you put your time in. The word time, Minister Mitchell, it is the indefinite continued progress of or the extent or the existence of events in present, past, or future. In other words, time never stops. No matter what you do, no matter where you are in life, time is always going to move on. But what happens is sometimes when we disobey or we mess up we get stuck in our time God has already predestined us to be somewhere at a specific time but when we allow obstacles to get in our way we get stuck 
Sometimes God can say five days, six days, but sometimes it's not that the prophet missed, it's that we got stuck. I believe that there is a lot of things that God has promised to us years ago. And we have not received it yet. Can you think of one thing that you heard years ago that you have not yet experienced? And, 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 not, and not, Andrew, that you heard it one time. We got this thing called confirmation. Years ago but have never received the promise. Mm. It's like Israel, how they were walking in the wilderness. The most amazing thing about them is that it was supposed to be an 11-day journey Mm. when God sent them out said, I'm going to give you this promised land. You're going to go through some stuff. And it should take you 11 days to get there. I want to ask you, what happened between the 11 days in your life that God promised you your house, your promotion, your job, your career? I mean... Do you think that everything that God speaks to you, it's supposed to take years to obtain it? Sometimes when I read my Bible, when I look at Kings, when the prophet said, by this time tomorrow. When tomorrow came, whatever the prophet said, it happened. But we have allowed time to stop. And we've turned our days into years. And it starts showing. I believe that we have to get back into the stage of days Mm. and not years. Mm. I don't know about none of y'all in here and I promise Johnny I'm going to preach in a while. Mm. I can't afford to go another year in the situation that I'm in. Mm. I, I, I can't afford to has have another wishful thinking in 2023. Mm. But I don't understand why God would allow Mm. me to keep hearing these words. Mm. And it seems like it just keep taking years for it to happen. Mm. Somebody look at a neighbor here and say no more years. years. Mm. Because we're getting older now. can't afford to have another birthday without getting what God has for us. Mm. I can't afford, Minister Mitchell, to go another day mm. where I am now. Mm. If God's promises are yes and amen, mm. why is it taking us so long to get there? Mm. At some point, We got to stop pointing the finger at delayed and not deny. And we got to learn how to stop pointing the finger at us. Because God has never spoken a word that he couldn't perform. And in the time that he said he was going to perform the word. But we got to say, God, 
if it's me, help me. Because I can't afford to have another year praising for something that I should have been had. I'm going to say that again. Because we, we are praising over prophetic words or that we should have experienced a long time ago. But somehow we have allowed ourselves to get in the way of what God wants to do with us. But the exciting thing about God is that he that begun a good work is faithful to complete it. So, 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 so the amazing thing is that even if it took years, God's still going to complete it. I, I said somebody need to look at a name and say it took some years, but God's still going to complete it. Because one thing that we don't do is we don't serve a lying God. And I'm thankful that even when I messed up, he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. Aren't you excited that even in your worst season, you didn't stop seeking him? Aren't you excited that even when you didn't feel the presence of God on you, you said, I remember what you spoke to me. And if you spoke it, God, you're going to bring it to pass. Somebody here need to look at a neighbor and say, I remember, I, re I remember what he, I remember what he said to me. So, so, so it, it's here that, that God had, had spoke a word to Israel. He spoke this word to them and he had told them, um, you know, um, they, they were going to get a promised land. He spoke to them and, and Minister Mitchell, when they did this, it, it, it was supposed to be a 11 days. So now it was Moses, he was addressing Israel. He was addressing them. And he had told me, he said, listen, listen, listen. It's up to you. Somebody look at him and say, it's up to you. Mm. It is up to you. Mm. What position you're going to be in. Mm. He said, you can be blessed mm. or you can be cursed. Mm. But Something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. God told you promise. Mm -hmm. But it's up to what you want to do with the word that God gives you. Mm -hmm. I can prophesy baritone to everybody in this church about you're going to get a house, you're going to get married, your business, this, that, and the third. But we all understand the Bible says that no good thing will he was hoping that walk up what? Upright. Mm -hmm. So what are we doing with our word of promise? What are we doing with when we say God is going to bring us out of debt? Are we tithing? Are we bringing our first fruits? Are we doing what God told us to do? Some, somebody look at a name and say, it is up to you. It is. See, see, the amazing thing is that God says that if any man put his hand to the plow, he's not fit for the kingdom. So, so sometimes we got to understand our situations, it really don't matter to God. Because the only thing that he wants us to do is line up with his word. When you line up with his word, how many people know that God has no choices to bless you? I'm going to say that again. I said, how many people know that when you line up with God's word, he don't have no choice but to bless you? Somebody need to look at a neighbor and say, I'm about to line up with his word. I'm getting... Come on, y'all better talk to him. We're going to preach and have church in a moment. But somebody need to look at a neighbor and say, I'm getting ready to line up with his word. I'm a... so, so, jo so Joshua said this in Joshua 24. He said, if it seem evil mm, unto you to serve the Lord, mm, choose ye this day mm, who you will serve. Mm. You got to make a choice. Mm. Say, I'm going to serve my bills or I'm going to serve my God. I'm, 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 I'm going to serve my job or I'm going to serve my God. But how many people know that sooner or later you got to make a choice? And if we look at it, sometimes some of us, we have already chosen. Sometimes when our bills get funny, we say, God, I can't pay my tithes today. Mm. Mm. Can't do it today, Jesus. Mm. I got you next time around. Mm. 
Somebody look at him and say, you made that choice. Mm. Even though the Bible says that mm, you are cursed with a curse. Mm. We still decided to look at our bills and say, God, you ain't going to make a way for me. Mm. I'm getting ready to get up out of here, y'all. Somebody look at a neighbor and say, it is your choice. Some of us, we're wondering why God has not moved for us. But we got to learn, baritone, how to make the right choices. Sometimes our situations is not always going to be favorable. But we always got to show God he is the alpha and he is the omega. Sometimes we got to show God that we really believe that he is Jehovah Jireh. Because a lot of times in life, we dance and we shout. We're saying, Jehovah Jireh, you getting ready to provide. But let me tell you something. How many people can give their last dime and say, God, you going to provide for me? Come on here, somebody. We, we, we danced, we shouted on Wednesday night when Minister Johnson was talking about Daniel in the lion's den. But guess what? He got in the den when he knew that he can die when he was in the den. But we got to get ourselves to the point in our life that if my car get repo, guess what? God going to give me another one. We got to get to the point that if my bills get backed up, God is somehow going to speedily catch me up in my bills. Because guess what? I serve God. I don't serve the devil. And I was young and now old. And guess what? I never seen the righteous forsaken guess what nor his seed beg and break guess what the amazing thing about God Andrew even if God don't do it for me now he is more that come on somebody need to lift up your hands and say he is able I'm so glad I don't serve God based on my time I, be, I serve God based on what he said in his word and if I gotta lose something I thank God that Joe says that everything that the locust and and the canker worm and the palmer worm. God never told you that you wasn't going to lose nothing. He said if you lose it, I'll restore it. He said if you lose it, I'll give it back to you. We got to get to the point that we say if I got to lose this for a season, God's going to give it back to me. Can somebody here lift their hands and say, God, I thank you for giving it back. Somebody need to open up your mouth in here and shout hallelujah. in a moment that's our problem God ain't never told us we were going to lose stuff that we wasn't going to lose nothing why do you think we got all these scripts about restoral and, and restoration hey, come on here somebody God never ever told you that you wasn't going to lose nothing but we still got to uphold our end of the bargain and make the right choices if we want to prove how God is I'm tired of people praying, Lord, I need you to prove yourself. He proved himself when he went on the cross. I'm going to say that again until I find a belief in here. God does not have to prove another thing to us in here. If God doesn't do one more thing for you, he did enough already. Somebody in here need to lift their hands and say he already did enough. I'm tired of people talking about the heavy. I'm getting ready to pull out heaven and put a demand on God. The devil is a liar. We don't demand God. God demands us to live right. I beseech you. Therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, somebody look at a neighbor and say, God has a demand on me. What do you think you say? I prophesied as the Lord commanded me. We don't command God. Make a demand on him. What? Who do we think we are? We better stop getting on these, listening to all these things and stuff fly out of our mouths. Because we all I demand. No, 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 no. God just requires and say that we got to live right. Mm. Come, come on here, somebody. We always talk about these demands, but how many of us are meeting the demands of God? And if we, if we learn how to meet these demands in God, man, let me tell you something. We're going to start getting to the place, deep where we are experiencing what God has spoke to us. So we got to get the mentality. Whatever it takes. Somebody say, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. 
to speed up my process, mm. I'm going to do it. Mm. I need somebody to shout and say, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. If, if I got to lose my car, guess what? That's what it took. Mm. If, if I got to lose my job, guess what? That's what it took. Mm. But whatever it takes for me to fulfill God's promises in my life, that is what I am going to to do because man baritone the, the, the time is ticking mm. and we're all getting older mm. we haven't seen the promised land yet mm. it was funny that how Moses played around so much mm. trying to please the people mm. the Bible said that God one day said to Moses you're going to see the land, but you ain't going in the land. Mm. All because he disobeyed God. Mm. How many people are determined they're not going to disobey God another day in their life? Mm. Did God lie from the beginning when he was telling Moses that he had a promised land for him? No. The problem is we're not lining up with the prophetic promises mm. because God has promised stuff to us. Mm. But we got to know that there are some things that we got to do. Mm. When God has promised us some stuff. So Deuteronomy 12, 8, it says, ye shall not. Mm. Please get your Bible and get this. And I prom I'm not going to be long. I promise that we're going to tune up and preach this week. We're going to do that. Deuteronomy 12 and 8. Mm. Ye shall not do after all things that we do here this day. Every man whatsoever is right in his own eyes. Mm. How many know that we got to stop justifying stuff? I'm about to get up out of here. Mm -mm. I said... There are certain things that we saw people do and we say, hey, we're going to do it. But we got to look at what we're doing now. How much is it helping you? Mm. Proverbs says, 14, 12, there is a way mm -mm. that seemeth right unto a, a man. But in the end, it all, what is, the ways of death. Mm. Sometimes in our eyes, we try to justify where we are and what we are doing. Mm. But we got to always ask ourselves. What does God's word say about it? Mm. Because what is right to me can be wrong to God. And I don't know about you, but I want to be a God pleaser. Mm. I can't afford another day in my life for me to be thinking I'm right. And I am dead wrong. Mm. Because we all know that the devil has a way of jumping in your spirit. Mm. Saying, nah, this is what the Lord is saying. Mm. We got to get to the point if that thing ain't bear witness with our spirit. Because mm. I believe that when you have the spirit of Christ in you, mm. He says, my sheep know my voice. And a stranger. They will not follow. Mm. This is what Israel's problem was. Every time a stranger called, they followed. Every time a new God popped up, 
they followed. They actually, Chris, they actually thought that their God was moving for them. They actually got the point where they actually felt that it was this made up thing that was making ways for them. Do you know the devil has a way to making you actually feel like you are right? I mean, that devil will have you getting promoted on your job while you're in absolute sin. I'm getting ready to get out of here. I said that devil will actually have you getting a raise and have you justified in your own eyes that what we are doing is right. Y'all not going to say nothing to me in here. I mean, have, have you ever done something so wrong and then God blessed you? And then we got the testimony and say, well, God did some things that I didn't even deserve. We are right. We did not deserve it. Come on here, somebody. But we got to understand that the devil is going to do what he can to keep you in bondage in this season. But we got to make up in our minds that we're going to say, guess what? I'm going to stay on the battlefield for my Lord. And the minute I got a feeling that it is wrong, I'm going to say, Lord, I'm getting ready to turn the other way. Because guess what? I can't afford for me to be shouting and praising off of stuff that the devil is trying trying to keep in front of me to keep me in bondage somebody here need to lift up their hands and say I'm getting ready to come out of bondage because I'm getting ready to make sure my next house come from God my next promotion come from God my next man come from God my next woman come from God whatever it is I'm going to make sure it is God and it's not a disguise to keep me in bondage another year in my life can somebody here uh, open up their mouth and thank God that God is moving the disguise out of your way somebody open up your mouth and shout hallelujah somebody look at a neighbor in here and say I've been tricked for the last time I've been uh, y'all ain't talking to the right neighbor in here somebody need to look at a neighbor and say I've been tricked for the last time uh, y'all remember uh, Malcolm X I've been hoodwinked I've been bamboozled I've been led astray somebody look at a neighbor in here and say I've been led astray the last time because the last time I thought it was God I almost lost everything the last time I thought it was God I almost lost my mind the last time I thought it was God I almost lost. Hey, can you think of one time in your life that you thought it was God and it almost ruined you? But guess what? We got the testimony that if it had not been for the Lord that was on my side, I almost feel like preaching. I don't know where I'd be. Somebody in here need to lift up your hand and shout it. Yeah. Somebody need to look at a neighbor in here and say, I almost lost it all. I, I said, you need to find a neighbor in here and say, I almost lost it all. They almost ruined me. They almost had uh, my best. But guess what? Thanks be unto God. He was there all the time. Can somebody in here give God praise that I almost lost it, but God's giving it back. You need to open up your mouth and shout it. Can somebody give God praise and say, I survived the trick. High five somebody you came here with and say, I survived the trick. I survived it. <laughs> ah, he pulled the, the wool over my eyes one time. <laughs> he thought he had me that first time. <laughs> but while I've been in this wilderness, <laughs> I done gained some discernment. <laughs> while I've been in this wilderness, <laughs> I learned the voice of God. Somebody open up your mouth and shout, yes.
somebody need to give God praise because you survived years of deceit you survived years of being tricked up you survived years of being messed with and you're getting ready to come out somebody open up your mouth and shout it dare somebody lift your hand and say I thank God I survived it I let some enter my spirit but I survived it I let some get in my thought but I survived it I allowed myself to start losing it but I survived it can we give God praise for being a survivor I need somebody to prophesy to a neighbor and say you survived some years you survived some I said somebody need to look at a neighbor and say you survived some years I said look at a neighbor and say you survived some years you was in that wilderness and the devil tried to take you out you was in that wilderness going down to other things but somebody need to lift up your hands and shout yeah Yeah, somebody to give God 30 seconds of praise and say I survived my wilderness I didn't say a wave I said I dare somebody to give God praise and say I survived my wilderness There's somebody look at a neighbor and say, if you know how I was lied to, if you was know what I was lied on about, if you knew what I've been through, you start praising God for me. Is there somebody in here that got a made up mind that can say, I'm getting ready to give God my best. I wasn't supposed to get out of here, but somehow God got me out. I said, lift up your hands and shout yes lean on a neighbor and say I am a survivor even in my bad choices God still brought me out even when I didn't make a wise decision God brought me out is there somebody in here that can give God a praise and say God I thank you for bringing me out you brought me through this you brought me through that but look at a neighbor and say neighbor I'm grateful can we open up our mouth and say God I'm so grateful let me get up out of here so here now the Bible says he says guess what Israel I'm getting ready to put something in your hand I said look at a neighbor and say there's a promise in your hand that's getting ready to get you to your promised land I said lean over and tell a neighbor and say neighbor we have in earthen vessels a hidden treasure come in Moses Moses said well Lord how is it that they gonna believe that you called me Audrey the Lord said what is that in your hand can somebody in here lift up your hands I've been waiting for a prophetic word I've been waiting for somebody to give it but there's an anointing in your hand that's getting ready to 
cause demons to flee. There's an anointing in your hands that's getting ready to cause every house you lay your hands on, every car you lay your hands on, tell a neighbor I got something in my hand and it's power to tread on serpents and it's power to tread on scorpions can somebody in here open up your mouth and shout power is in my hand shout it out Somebody look at a neighbor and say, stop looking for a prophetic word, but look to your hands. Look to Jesus. He said, I will bless the work of your hand. Somebody in here, I dare you to give them praise for everything you laid your hand on. Every contractor, every child, every mom, every dad, everything I put my hand to, God's gonna bless it. Shout, shout it. Yeah. Somebody need to praise him. Say, devil, you done messed up. You allowed me to put my hand on it. Is there somebody that's in here in the prophetic? Put your hand on it and say, Lord, it is mine. Shout it out. Somebody look at a neighbor in here and say, it's in your hands now. I said, somebody look at a neighbor and say, it's in your hands now. Somebody open up your mouth and say, it's in my hands. I gotta finish preaching but I need somebody to take 30 seconds and thank God for what he already gave you somebody open your mouth and no more searching no more looking but God already gave me what I need to get to where I gotta go somebody in here need to open up your mouth and give them glory he under the book For ye are not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God giveth you. That word give means to transfer freely into your hands. 
Somebody need to lift their voice and say, it's already been transferred. The deposit has already been made. God has already caused the shift. You just got to learn how to walk in authority. You just got to learn how to walk in power. Somebody open your mouth and say, it's already transferred. You know after you work, you know for those of you, for those of you that got direct deposit, mm, you know when you work two weeks and when time goes at midnight mm, or between the hours of midnight and 4 a.m., mm, you get a direct deposit. Mm, I dare somebody to start praising God like they just got a direct deposit. It's midnight. I didn't see it coming. But something's getting ready to hit my account. I done prayed about it. And God already. Somebody prophesied to a neighbor and say it's already been transferred. You've been praying. You've been believing. But you need to look at a name and say, it's transferred. It's, it's just, somebody open up your mouth and shout. Somebody look at a name and say, there's a deposit coming your way. Somebody look at a name and say, there's a deposit. There's a, there's an anointing hitting in your midnight. Let me say it. I said, somebody look at it and say, there's an anointing hitting your midnight that you've been working for, that you've been fasting for, that you've been praying for, that you've been believing God for. Somebody look at a neighbor and say, it's a deposit. Somebody look at him and say, I didn't even see that thing happening. I said, somebody look at him and say, I didn't even see that thing happening. There is an inheritance. There is an inheritance. Somebody live here and say, I thank God for my inheritance. Come on, I don't hear you talking to him. Somebody say, I thank God for my inheritance. It's already. <laughs> he said to an inheritance that the Lord already given you. How many people know that they're just walking? They're just walking right into the thing that God already gave them. Some of us talk about we're fighting, but you don't have to fight for something that's already yours. I said, I'm going to say that again. I said, you don't have to fight for something that's already yours. Somebody need to open your mouth and say, it's already mine. It's... Somebody look at a neighbor and say, what you fighting for? What you, what you fighting for? I want church somebody say, if I hold my peace, I'm, I'm going to say that again until I find a church person in here. I said, if I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battles, I need three Holy Ghost believers to just lift up your voice and shout victory. Andrew, they playing around home with you. I said, I need holy, three Holy Ghost believers to lift up your voice and say victory. Shout.
But when you go over Jordan, Deuteronomy 12, 10, but when you go over Jordan and dwell in the land which your God giveth you. You know, all throughout when I read Deuteronomy and Joshua, God keeps, Minister Mitchell, God keeps giving me that word. He, he's given it. Why have not we taken possession over stuff that God has already given us? So somebody look at him and say, it's already mine. Come on, y'all not talking. Somebody look at him and say, it's already mine. He said, but when you go over Jordan, you're going to dwell in your land. And when he given you rest from all your enemies round about, so that you dwell in safety. Forty years they've been going. Then when you speed up to Joshua the third chapter, the Lord said, and it came to pass after three days. Somebody say three days. Could you just open your mouth and say, God, I thank you. I'm days away now. I fought. I've wrestled. I've asked God to do it. But how many people know that they are in days, not years, not months, not weeks, but somebody need to lift up their hands in this place. I don't know what you've been fasting for in this fast. I don't know what you've been praying for. But I dare somebody to start giving God praise right there in their seat and say, God, I thank you. Can I get five of you just to jump to your feet and shout, I'm days away. I'm now the only thing I need right now is some yellers, some screamers, some leapers, somebody that got a testimony. I've been waiting my whole life for this, but now God's getting ready to put me at the right place, at the right time, in the right season. Can somebody in here give God praise? And say, God, I thank you. God, I bless you. Somebody look at him and say, a few more days, a few more. I said, somebody look at him, a few more days. Why are you starting to praise him for? You don't know how long I've been without you. But I've been suffering. I've been going through. Now I feel like God is shifting me to another place. Somebody open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. I dare somebody to take three leaps and say it's already done. Mr. Mr. I'm gonna get out of here. While we've been fasting and praying, I heard the Holy Ghost said to tell you expect a few more days. And I'm getting ready to move for you. I said, somebody looking to say, I'm expecting in another few days that God start opening up doors for me. I said, somebody look at it and say, I'm expecting in a few more days that God is opening. Y'all ain't praising them like you out the wilderness. Somebody lift your hand and say, I'm tired of these wilderness experiences. I said, somebody, lift hand, I'm tired of these wilderness experiences.
Lift them hands. If you believe in this church, please stand. If you can. If you believe in this When I started out, I told you that it was it was 11 days journey. Now, Minister Mitchell, Moses laid the foundation, he said, but you got to get over Jordan. But Joshua said, when he picks it up, he says, within three days, we're going to go over this Jordan. Which started out from 11 that went to 40. Mm. Now it's down to three. Mm. Mm. Are, are, are you hearing me? Yeah. 11, 40, three. Mm. Mm. Watch this. Mm. Even when Joshua prophesied, and said, within three days, we shall pass over. Mm. How many of you know that there were still some things that they had to do mm. to experience the three days? Y'all not saying nothing to me in here. Somebody look at him and say, I got some stuff I still got to do. Mm. Mm. First thing he said, he said, sanctify yourself. Mm. Mm. I'm going to say that again. Mm. He gave him the ground. He said, within three days, we're going to do this. But the first thing he said, sanctify yourself. This is not something that I can do for you. This is not something that a pastor can do for you. But this is something that you got to do for yourself. Somebody lift your hand and say, sanctify myself. Lord, help me to. Y'all ain't talking to me in here. He said, sanctify yourself. He said, because guess what? Tomorrow? Mm. Mm. What I tell you when I stood up here and I opened up, time doesn't stop for nobody. Mm. Mm. He said, whether you right or not, mm. tomorrow's still going to happen. Mm. Now, whether you're in the flow of the tomorrow, it's going to be up to you. But you got the choice. You got to say, I'm getting ready to sanctify myself. I'm getting ready to pour out every single thing that may hinder my tomorrow from happening. I'm getting ready to pour out every single thing that may hinder another day in my life. If God said three days, guess what? I need three days. How many people need days to happen now? Y'all ain't talking to me. I said, how many I need days to happen in here right now? He says, sanctify yourself. Mm. For tomorrow, mm. the Lord will do wonders. Mm. got to get up out of here y'all he says sanctify yourself you've been believing God for a house sanctify yourself you've been believing God to get promoted on your job sanctify yourself you've been believing God for a come up somebody say sanctify yourself because guess what your tomorrow is going to come but guess what when your tomorrow come it's about that the hood Will you be in line with your tomorrow? Somebody need to look at him and say, I'm getting ready to get in line right now. I said, somebody look at him and say, I'm getting ready to get in line right now. So let's do it like this first. Let's do it like this first. Do it like, lift them hands. Let's do it like this. Every believer in here. Yes, Lord. Lift them hands. I need to feel me say, Lord, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. come into my heart. Mm. Come into my mind. Mm. I believe you died for me. Mm. I believe you rose for me. Mm. Today, Lord, mm, I renounce mm, all sin, mm, all wrongdoing. And today, Lord, mm, I acknowledge you as my Lord I acknowledge you as my Savior 
I acknowledge you as my redeemer. And today, I'm saved. Today, Lord, I just rededicated myself back to you. Today, Lord, my life is in your hands. Today, Lord, my future is in your hands. Today, Lord, all my problems are in your hand. Right now, Lord, I give you everything I've been dealing with. If you believe today that it's in God's hand, can you just give God praise right where you are and say, thank you, Jesus, for my tomorrow. Listen, I need us to stay social distance. Whoever you came here with, you stay with him. But that person next to you, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, can you help me praise God? Because I believe my tomorrow is getting ready to happen for me. I said, look at that neighbor. Can you help me? Give God praise because my tomorrow is getting ready to happen. I said, give him praise and say, God, I... Sister Jalice, lift your hand. Jalice, lift, lift, both, get both of them. Get both of them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God's getting ready to anoint your resume. Uh -huh. The Lord told me to tell you, expect calls concerning business. Uh -huh. He said, but not only business, God said, I'm even getting... He told me today to get ready. Mm -hmm. He says, because I'm getting ready to call some new employment to hit you. Mm -hmm. And he said, the Lord says, with this new employment, mm -hmm. it's going to help you to be able to afford the place you've been looking at. He said, the place you've been believing God for. What I'm telling you to tell you is stop worrying about the bills and the money. Because God said, I got a new place that's getting ready to happen for you. And God said, it already has happened. And the Lord told me to tell you, you getting ready to do it by yourself. And for some reason, the Holy Ghost told me to tell you, you're not going to need a co-signer. He says, because I'm getting ready to strengthen you in every area of your life. He says, I'm getting ready to remove the crutch. And I'm getting ready to remove the things you are you have been depending on and the things that you need. The Lord said, I'm getting ready to show you how strong I am, how strong my hand moves concerning you. For the Lord says, even the odds concerning family, I hear the Lord says, I'm getting ready to bring greater peace in the name of Jesus. He says, what's been bigger? about he says I'm getting ready to silence in the name of the Lord and say for the Lord says I'm getting ready to wrap you in my peace he says I'm getting ready to wrap you in my blessing he says I'm getting ready to wrap you in my authority woman of God get ready for the Lord said frustration is over he says confusion is over he said for those tears you've been shedding he told me to tell you to get ready he said because I the Lord God I'm getting ready to enter 
intervene and the Holy Ghost told me to tell you to expect an apology he said because we're broke you he said it's getting ready to strengthen you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the Holy Ghost told me to tell you it's getting ready to come together in the name of Jesus for daughter have you have your hands up I hear the Holy Ghost saying every weight is coming off your shoulders even now say of the father he says what you've been carrying trying to hold he says it shall be no longer in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can somebody help her give a praise can I see a breakthrough on the way somebody open up your mouth and give a There it is. Somebody help her. Somebody, I dare somebody to help her. Let me tell you the problem I got with this praise. Nuji, I always tell you what God do for one he'll do the same for you so if God's gonna bless her God's gonna bless you the Bible says that Job's captivity was turned when he prayed for his family and his friends can you for the next 30 seconds just give God praise for our sister and you watch what God doing you Jesus, touch a Jesus, touch a Jesus, touch her, take the weight off, strengthen her now, Father, break through on her life, in the head. to feel like church in here. Is that Jennifer? Lift your hands. Get them up high. I think I preached this sermon last year and I saw you and this scripture just came to mind. He said, forgetting those things which are behind you, reach for those things which are ahead. Forgive those things which are behind you and reach for the things which are ahead. I'm going to say it one more time. God said, forget those things which are behind you and reach for those things which are ahead. Two things God's going to bless you with. God says, I'm getting ready to move in your employment. He says, I'm going to move in your residence. In the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the Lord says, I'm getting ready to bring, I don't know what he's saying, but he says, I'm getting ready to bring you into your own right now. For the Lord said, this is going to be a year of reestablishing. This is going to be a year of reconnecting. He said, this is going to be a year of new relationship concerning him. The Lord said, this is going to be a year where it's getting ready to be a new Jennifer. In the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the Lord said the last 90 days have been year, days of crying. But the Lord said the next 90 will be years of peace. He said the next 90 going to be days of refreshing. He said that behind show. And the Lord says I'm even getting ready to cause trust. I don't know why. But the Lord says I'm getting ready to cause trust to get back into your heart again. He says I'm getting ready. He says I'm even getting ready to move in the area of heartbreak. Say of the father. For the Lord says I'm getting ready 
to bring you into this season of restoration. He says, for what's been broken in you, he says, I'm getting ready to cause a total restoration, daughter, to happen in your life in the name of the Lord. He says, you can stop crying now. He says, because I got some things in front of you that's getting ready to blow your mind. He says, you can eat time about the hunch. So he says, you can stop worrying. He says, because I got some things uh, ah, that's in store for you. And guess what? But they that sow in tears, they shall reap in joy. Jennifer, you can lift up your hands higher because I feel in my spirit that God said joy is getting ready to hit your life. Uh, there it is. I feel it breaking now. He says joy is getting ready to hit your life. There it is. He said joy is getting ready to hit your life. Come on. He said joy is getting ready to hit your I break every spirit of depression in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Ah, depression, loose your hold now in the name of the Lord and Savior. Ah, depression, come off now. Ah, we lose a sound mind. We lose a spirit of peace in the name of Jesus. Touch her now, God. Revive now, God. In the name of the Lord, touch every broken relationship in the name of the Lord. Somebody in here lift up your hands open up your mouth and give God glory I said lift up your hands and give them glory you won't reside in her Lucy now, Jesus. She got a child, she got a raise. She got a family, she got a bill. In the Come on here. Come on here. Come on, I need a praying church. We get ready to go home, but I ain't talking about that. Come on, lift them hands. Come on, lift them hands. Y'all, the devil thought they won with her. The devil thought he won. But the devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. We serve a great God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an omnipotent. We serve a saving God. Somebody open up your there with her we gotta go we gotta get out of here hey daughter lift your hands lift your hands lift, get them up in that put up a hand shout mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I renounce everything that tried to break you break your heart break your spirit mm -hmm. I claim your soul back right now in the name of the Lord and Itabada I claim your soul back in the name of Jesus there is destiny on you the anointing of God is on you God's power is on you. For the Lord said, I even mend your heart. Just lay your hand on it real quick. He said, get them hands up, daughter. He said, I mend your heart. The call of God is on your life. The call of God is on your life. Somebody point your hands to this young lady. The call of God is on The call of God is on your life. And he says, I bring you resolve. He says, I bring you peace in the name of the Lord. He said, I bring resolve. I bring peace in the name of Jesus.
daughter, you need to get your hands up higher. In the process of time, in the process of time, God's going to move concerning dreams concerning you. God's going to move in prayer concerning you. That's why the devil does not want you in church. Because the devil understands how powerful you are going to become in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus. Can somebody here open up your mouth? I'm on it now. I'm on it now. I wish I had time to keep pressing in here. But I feel the power of God in here. I said, I feel the power of God in this place. Somebody open up your mouth right where you are. And I need you to shout hallelujah from the top of your... Come on, we got to shake this building and let the devil know he is a liar. Somebody open up your mouth and shout hallelujah. Oh my God, I, I'm getting ready to get out of here. I'm about to get out of here. Please, please, please. I didn't even see my, my pastors back here. Please come and have some word. Hallelujah. Hey, my brother, can you stand up? You right there, sir. You, yes, yeah. Yeah, you, my brother. I mean, lift your hands up. The Lord said, expect a new season. He said, expect a new season. For there are some choices that you made that may have been a little iffy. Mm. But the Holy Ghost told me to tell you that I'm getting ready to bring almost like a makeover concerning you. For the Lord says, I'm getting ready to bless you. Mm. He says, I'm getting ready to open doors for you. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what you're praying about. I don't know if, what kind of employment you're doing. But the Lord said, expect newness. I said, the Lord said, expect newness in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For there are some things you've been praying about, saying, God, I need to do this. God, I need to do that. But man of God, the Lord has told me to tell you that he hears you. And he said, he wants you to expect a turnaround. I said, he, there it is. He, said he wants you to expect a turnaround in the name of Jesus it's been a hardship it's been hard it's been rough it's been tough but the holy ghost told me to tell you to ex the lord told me to tell you to expect the turnaround in your life man I see you crying I know and it's been rough you keep saying like a man God I need your help and the Lord told me to tell you I heard that cry and he said help is on the way yes I, he hears the cry you keep saying you need help and he said help is on the way son he said breakthrough is on the way you're not here by chance but the lady is I dare somebody help him praise him right there. I said I
Are y'all gonna let my brother pray them by himself? Can I get three fine stars to help him give that? Pastor, come greet us. Yes, Lord. Somebody. This way, you know, my bed is the host. My brother, I am excited for you. Somebody point your hand in the say, I'm excited for you. I thank God today. I thank God today. I thank God. I thank God today. Somebody better praise him. I feel another round. Praise him, Pastor. 
Praise the pastor. He talk about baby. Somebody. Who talk about baby? She got a mini ocean. I dare somebody to shout it. I got the victory. I got, I got. We gotta go. Shh. Shh. Pastor, you, you don't have to stand up. But I just want to pray for you in Jesus' name. Can you lift your hands in the presence of the, the Lord? The Bible says that he takes the foolish things and confound the wise. For what may look foolish in praise, I pray in Jesus' name that it will confound every doctor. And I pray that repair happens. I pray that repair happens in the name of the Lord. I pray that greater repair happens now. In the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that there'll never be a day of shortness of breath. That there'll never be a day of dizziness. I pray that God brings everything to your remembrance in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I pray that there become a divine touch on your body right now in the name of Jesus that would thrust you and excel you into another level of ministry in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I speak to every thought that would try to bring depression and oppression in the name of Jesus. And I speak peace in the name name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I speak blessing and I speak healing in the name of the Lord. I speak in the name of Jesus Lord that you would touch here our leader that you would bless him indeed in the name. Father we thank you oh God for repairing. Father we thank you God for restoring right now in the name of the Lord. Father even look on the heart now God in the mighty name of Jesus can somebody give God praise for my leaders he, he, I said I said I need somebody to give God I said I said I need somebody to give them praise I pray that every weight every burden that he carries on his shoulder I pray that they're lifted now in the name of the Lord Somebody here, open up your mouth 
tell you something we not going to do all this fasting and consecration and God not hear our prayer come on here somebody now I believe in the name of Jesus that God is bringing repair and recovery to our leader I need everybody here to give God praise right now in the I said I need a praise Too much life, too much ministry. Somebody open your mouth and give it. to go somebody shout I win he lose I said somebody shout I win he lose I need every winner to just open your mouth and shout hallelujah now come on clap them hands in here and let's give God some praise Listen, while we're here, stay in praise. I keep telling you, I'm going to finish up next Sunday. I promise you. I'm going to finish up next Sunday. I promise you. I promise y'all. While we're here, while we're here, I need every believer to get your tithe, get your offering. Get your tithe and your offering. Get your tithe and your offering. Yes, Lord. I don't care what nobody tells you, God is a healer. God is a deliverer. So God is a healer. And let me tell you something. While we've been fasting and praying, I've been I've been believing God for some things. We laid some stuff at the feet of Jesus. And I am believing. I am believing that God does it. I'm believing that God does it in Jesus' name. So get your tithe and your offering. Get your tithe and your offering. Get your tithe and your offering. If you have a card, you can see our minister Johnson. Throw the can. I need you to share your, your very best gift. Share your gift. Sow into your days. If you sanctified yourself, sow into your days. Sow into your miracle. Sow into your blessing. God doesn't lie. We sometimes hold up the progress. But I thank God that he don't lie to us. Come on, I need every believer here. Get your tithe, your offering. Get your tithe, your offering. You can give. What, what is the, what's the text to give? Hallelujah. Touch Jesus. Touch Jesus. Somebody live here and say, I feel him doing it. I feel him. Y'all like, y'all can't cry and say, I feel him. He not that 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 about you. I feel him doing it. You better pray them to me. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, you might as well just pray.
somebody gonna help some of our young ones praise him. You better praise him, LeRon. I said, give him. Prophetic in here today. I know it looks crazy, but this is what a survivor looks like. I said, this is what a survivor looks like. This is what you look like when you made it through it. This is what it looks like when you know that God has already brought you out. Somebody in here better give a blow. I dare somebody to praise him. I dare some you know my dad the whole shot. Somebody look around the room and say, I feel it's breaking, it's breaking, it's, it's breaking, it's, it's breaking, it's breaking. Listen, grab your tithe, your offer, know that, and giving you. If you don't have cash, you can text to give at 844-513-0602. Text 844-513-0602. You can give or you can give on our cash app. Please share. Please give. Please sow into this anointing. Sow to what God's doing. Our life keeps sowing. It's not a debt that we owe. It's a seed that we are sowing. 
Jesus name, I need every believer in here. I need you to sow a seed. In Jesus name, so we can sow into the kingdom. He says, so we can sow into the kingdom. Get me. Because as you was praising, that represented your victory. I said, as you, I said, as you was praising, that's it. I said, that represented your victory. And the Lord said, that thing shall be no more in the name. There, I said, that shall be no more in the name of the Lord. And said, that's it, daughter. Uh-huh. He said, you can keep on praising. He said, because things are getting ready to be better concerning you in the name of Jesus. Somebody just stretch your hands to this year. yeah there it is he said it's already better he said it's up he said it's already Do it, Jesus. 
Thank God for everybody from Perfecting Faith Church that's here. I thank God for you. I love you. I love you in Jesus' name. Thank God for you. Lift your hands, though. told me to tell you that he's getting ready to bring great resolve. I don't know why I just keep seeing you fighting and 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 fighting. That's it. That's it. Let it out. Let it out. But the Holy Ghost said, I reached back even to the age of 10. He said, I go back there. He said, I start bringing healing right now. Somebody lift your hands and worship them. Manda, oda ba she tebe, na baba. He, he, that's it. Come on, lift, 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 lift them, lift them, lift them, lift them. That's it, daughter. You gotta, you gotta get this out now. Na baba she. Somebody gotta worship him right now. Her sanity, her life is at stake right now. In, in the name of that. That's it. Come on, come on. Pour it out, 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 pour it out. Get it out. Out. Na ba she te, na ba 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 she, na ma. I need a praying church right here. I said, I need a praying church right here. Come on, come on, y'all. I need a trail in the Holy Ghost right now. I said, I need a trail. Come on, that's it. I need a trail in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Ghost. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Fill this room. Fill this room with worse. That's it. Come on. Come on, fill this room with your prayers. Come on, that's it. Yeah, that feel good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go by da 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 na 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 da ba 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 she. Hey, hey. Una manda da da ba. Una manda hasia. God, I need you to touch this young lady right now. 
I need you to touch her right now. I need you to touch her right now. Everybody that's mistreated, everybody that took advantage of her, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we claim her soul back, right back now, God, in the name of the Lord. Walk the two of them. Come on, somebody open up your mouth in here. Let's give them praise in the house. Can somebody celebrate God for her right now in the name of Man, I got to go. We got to get out of here. But I feel the anointing of God in this place. Come on. Come on. Come on, I need you to shout in this room. Lift your voice and shout. Come on, we got to shout in this room. Lift your voice in here. Come on, shake this place with your praise. Come on, shake this place with your praise. Come on. That's it, 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 that's it. Life now is sweet and our joy is complete. That's what I dare feel you to lift your hands in here and just shout, I'm saying. your hands together as our leader has some words in Jesus name come on pastor please greet us in Jesus name please please greet us in Jesus name please greet us in Jesus name no, no, no. I honor the Lord I honor the Lord for his kindness I am not prone to interfere with what God's doing here for the Lord is moving on his own and I appreciate the, the respect, but it's, it's, it's the Lord moving right now. It is the Lord. It, it, is about, it is about you receiving of the Lord. How many of you receive what the Lord is imparted today? How many of you receive? No, no, I want you to praise him like you receive it. Praise him like you receive it. Receive it. Praise him like you receive it. Hallelujah. 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 I was I was reading and 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 I was reading in the book of Daniel, in the 10th chapter of Daniel, it was saying that after Daniel had begun to pray for an answer from the Lord, Pastor Chris said that he prayed for three weeks and he couldn't get an answer, but he didn't stop praying. And he believed God even though the answer didn't come. And it never shook his faith. It never caused him to let go. It never caused him to leave it in the dirt and move on. He continued to pray because he knew God was a prayer answering God. And, it, and although he didn't understand he didn't understand the delay. He never stopped. You may not understand the delay, but don't stop praying. Because it's not like God did not answer. 
And as he continued praying on the 21st day, three weeks of nonstop prayer, on the 21st day, the angel Gabriel appeared to him and said, Daniel, God heard you when you first bent your knee to pray. And God sent me with an answer. Lady Gina, God sent me with an answer. As soon as you started praying, he said, but the, but the enemy, Satan held me up in the air as I came to give you the word of God for you to understand that which you were dealing with. He said, and as we, as we fought, I called on Michael. I called on Michael, the, the archangel, the angel of war. And he, he, is the, he is the mighty angel of war. And he's, I called on Michael, and, and, I, and, and, and Michael's holding them up so I could come and bring you the word. I want you to know, Lady Gina, that the prayers and the expectations that have been held up, Pastor Chris, and those of you that have been travailing and have heard nothing from God, God has already sent the word. God has already sent the word. And what you've got to do is you've got to praise him like it's already done. You've got to praise him. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, some I'm good over here. You've got to praise him like it's already done. You've got to praise him. And it's already done. Hold it to be your son. God sent the answer. God sent the answer. Hold on. Hold on. release the answer and although the enemy's been trying to hold it up God's answer will not be stopped and you will receive of the Lord you will receive of the oh my shandy in the ocean everything that's been held up God's releasing it everything that's been held up God is setting it free God is delivering it to those that believe Somebody give God praise right now. The, the musicians, the musicians serve. They serve and they help accentuate the word of God. But there are some things that the musicians have been praying about moving into their future. That's all I hear God saying, moving into their future. The ownerships moving into their future. Hallelujah. The, the, the things that they need that will establish them moving into their future. God said he's about to show them in this season. In this season, if they believe, if they step out on faith, God is going to release things into their care and they will be self-sufficient in every way. Somebody point your hands at the musicians right now. Point your hands and we release it in the name of Jesus. We release it into them, to these precious hearts, to these, to these faithful servants. We release it into their hearts, into their lives now. There is another disposition. There is another distribution of, of supply. God is about to open wide the door that's going to allow you to do all the things that he put in your heart to do. You will not suffer lack in any way, but you are about to come into an abundance because you serve faithfully, because you give of yourself faithfully. Hear the word of the Lord. God said abundance, abundance. Abundance, abundance. 
God said multiplication and abundance in the mighty matchless name for who you've served is now turning this around and he will serve you with all the things that he has promised to you. Your time has arrived and you are about to move into another, another dimension, not another level, another dimension in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name. Somebody celebrate with them now. Somebody celebrate. Celebrate with them. I'm telling you, Pastor Chris, I hear, I hear in the spirit that there, the, 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 the musicians, that there's some of these musicians that are looking to own homes and have been trying to save monies for different things, they're not, they're not gonna have to save after this period because there's gonna be an abundance release and they will come back and testify and they will testify and they will testify. Your future is ahead of you and God has provision for your future that you have not even seen yet. You will have the abundance. You will testify that God did it. You'll be able to walk into the next step of your life and there will be no lack in the mighty name of Jesus. We pronounce this over you, for God has heard your prayers, God has seen your efforts, and God blesses the works of your hands. The works of your hands. God blesses it in the mighty Matthew's name. Oh, Resheban de la Baha, Oh, precious heart. God knows. Precious heart. God blesses. God will give abundance to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Abund oh, step out in faith, son. Step out in faith. You're just beginning to see what God. Step out in faith, faithful man. Faithful man. I hear God saying, faithful man. Step out in faith. For I'm going to support your works. I'm going to support your works. In the mighty name of Jesus our Christ. He will give abundance. 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 He will give you strategy. He will give you organized strategy. He will open up things for you. Step out and believe him. Watch him do it. Be careful what you accept. Be careful what you accept. Your gift is great. Be careful for you are more than your gift. You are more than your gift. The intellect God give you. The ministry God's given you. You are more than your gift, and it's about to be seen right now. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Oh, yeah, Baba She. Great man. Great man. Great man. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord give to you. The Lord prosper you. The Lord exalts you. The Lord increase you in every way. In every way, the Lord will speak to you. He will give you instruction. Hallelujah. I want somebody to give God a great praise for these. Greater, greater, greater. Greater, greater, greater. Greater. I'm, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down. But Jamia, you have not even begun to see what God's about to do. Your heart is so toward God. Your love is so toward God.
You are precious. You have not even begun to see the doors that are about to swing open wide. He's about to open them widely. Widely in career, in music, in ministry. All three aspects. God is about to open widely. So prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. I want you to read Isaiah. Isaiah 54. The first three verses. And I want you to do what it says. Enlarge your tent. Stretch out your cords. Prepare for the huge blessing that God has given onto your life. He's not about to do it. He's already started. We praise God. Somebody explode real quickly. Your faithfulness. Your faithfulness. God sees it. The anointing of your pastor is on you. The anointing of your pastor is on you. God chose you. God chose you. Take that anointing. Take that anointing. Take it. Yes, God. The anointing of the man of God. The anointing of the man of God is on you. I'm sorry, we're supposed to be gone. We're supposed to be gone. Come quickly, quickly, quickly. Raise your hands. The kind of heart that you have is easily hurt. The kind of heart that you have is easily hurt because your heart reaches out to, to so many people and everyone doesn't have your best interest at heart. Guard your heart because you love so strongly. You care so much. And God has given you that gift. He's given you that gift. Your heart has been touched by God. He's taught you how to love even though you're looking to be loved. He's taught you how to love even though you haven't been loved rightly. He's taught you how to love even though it's hurt you to love so much. It's hurt you. It's hurt you. But God said he's given you more grace. And nothing can stop that love in your heart. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can stop it. For you've made up your mind to love in spite of. Hobi Ashanda. To love in spite of. So God, heal your heart. God, cover your heart. God, fill your heart. God, protect your heart. God, heal others by your heart. God cause others to feel love through your heart. Don't stop loving. Oh yeah, People are drawn to you. People are drawn to you. Shiva Nandrokosta. People are drawn to you. Keep loving them. No matter who they are. No matter who they are. For you don't judge people by what they do. You love them regardless. And some people criticize you because of that. But God, God, but God gave you the love. Love them no matter who they are. Take the criticism and keep loving. Don't stop loving even if it hurts. God give it to her now. 
God give right in her belly, right in her belly. God Somebody celebrate right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh may I man that a horse. You can not a so she Hey, I'm sure I can answer. In your arms, yes, 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 oh, she, Baba, yes, oh, yeah, man, 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 yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Clap your hands and tell God, yes, Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah in this place. Glory. Hallelujah. So we all stand. We got to get out of here, y'all. The anointing of God is here. Again, can we put our hands together for our leader? Pastor, come on, clap your hands. We thank God. For our pastor, Donald McClurkin Jr., we thank God for him. We thank God for his life. We thank God for his covering in the name of Jesus. And again, I thank God for uh, PFC that's here. We praise the Lord for you in Jesus' name. Put your hands together in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, such great things God has in store for these ministries. I'm telling you, the Lord is up to something. We thank God for just being who he is today. Amen. How many people thank God for him just being God today? thank God for him just being God. And we just thank the Lord. Listen, we got to get out of here. Father, we thank you today for your loving kindness as we leave this place, but not from your presence. Lord, we ask that you would cover us under your blood, Lord, and bring us back here at the next appointed time, Lord. Father, we just thank you, God, for just being who you are today. And Father, we thank you for the anointing. We thank you for the gift. And Lord, we thank you for every word that you've given us today. And we thank you for bringing manifestation and we love you and we praise you. You are dismissed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.